Hi, I'm Paul Friedman. I'm the founder of the Marriage Foundation. And today's topic is a good topic. Um, should marriages have boundaries? And I'm actually talking about this today because literally a number of people, regular subscribers to this channel, have asked me to talk about this. I guess that the topic is very trendy. It's a big deal. He or she um, ignored my boundaries, affected me, blah, blah, blah. I, I don't even know all the ways that people express this thing about quote unquote boundary issues, but I'm going to talk about it in a more universal way because there's a, there's a lot to this, but not if it's taken incorrectly and most people frankly take it incorrectly. So number one, what is the greatest gift that God has given you? And I could tell you some that are pretty obvious. One is that you're born as a human being with such a variety of life experiences in front of you. Another great one is that you believe in God. That's a gift. Not everyone believes in God. But there's one in particular that is amazing and we take it for granted. And that's the gift of free choice. We take it for granted in our own efforts, in our own life, day to day. We break our own boundaries, mostly out of fear. We're afraid to do something. We're afraid to experiment. We're afraid to try this or try that. But this gift of free will is precious. When you get married, you're there with your soulmate. You're supposed to experience your marriage on the highest plane, the plane of love, because we can experience life in the primal way where everything is selfishly received and taken and we want this, we want that. Or we could be mundane where we just go through life waiting to die. Basically, we're born, we get married, we raise kids, we work, and then we die. But there's this plane of love. You have it because you're a soul. As a soul, this gift of free will is so precious. And you, whether you're using yours or not, is yours. And no one should interfere with your free will. Now, I've had many arguments come at me. I don't argue with people, but a lot of people have argued with me. Well, what if they da-da-da-da? What if they da-da-da-da-da? So here's where it gets really interesting. Okay, number one, the rule is this. And it's a rule, unless it's an absolute emergency. You never interfere with your spouse's free will, never. If they want to do something stupid, in your opinion, it's up to them. If they want to do something that in your opinion is stupid, that's their prerogative. You should neither comment nor challenge. It's up to them. It's their free will. Imposing on another's free will. And when you're married, you have a lot of influence. Imposing on another's free will. Especially when you're there to be loving, to be supportive, to be their soulmate undermines the fabric of your marriage. So what is a boundary issue? In the common parlance, what that really means is they said something to me or did something that was quote unquote inappropriate. So now let's take that side. Let's be the one who has been offended. 
They ignored my boundaries. What should you do? We flipped the coin. They had the right to say what they wanted to say. Maybe they shouldn't have, but they did. Now you have free will. You don't get affected by what they said. You allow what they said to just blow past you. If you're offended, you're making bad use of your free choice and you're allowing someone's words or actions to influence you rather than being in charge of yourself. Do you understand this? So it appears initially to be very tricky, but it really isn't. The key is maintaining control over your own free will and not worrying about them using or misusing their free will. That's where you draw the lines. You don't draw the line by telling them you're interfering with my free will because that becomes insane. Pretty soon what you're doing is you become more and more sensitive about reacting to things that they didn't like. So you're not liking criticism. No one likes criticism. But sometimes criticism is useful. If we hear criticism in the right way, because it's up to us how we hear things, how we perceive things, we could use it to clean our house of flaws, which is how we as human beings evolve. We have to take responsibility for cleaning our own house, our mind, and making sure that all of our flaws are eradicated over time. And that's it. So, yes, there are boundaries, but from an objective perspective, maybe someone would notice, but you as the individual should not notice. You should not put yourself out there to be criticized by using your free will to adjust how you hear things, by being forgiving of them for stepping over the line. By loving them first. When you love someone and they step over the line, you don't care so much. So what's happening, if you're feeling like your boundaries are being crossed, is you're not focused on the love, which is where you're supposed to be. Now I hope this was useful to you. I hope it's clear. My approach to marriage is very different. My approach to taking personal responsibility for how you hear things, how you feel things, how you see things, that's the proper use of your free will. Like this video, leave a comment, subscribe. Thank you for spending time. Take care and God bless you.